to suggest that. Word out of Camp Golf is that many NCR Rangers can expect redeployment in the near future. One anonymous soldier said it was part of a new strategy. In addition, the influx of displaced residents to the refugee camp at Bitter Springs has caused a strain on rations there. NCR officials are asking for donations. That news was brought to you by the Tops Casino. You'll dig us, baby. We're the Tops. Gonna play a song for you, right? Well, looks like Bitter Springs could use a little hand. Thankfully, I happen to be a decent guy in medicine, speech, and science, and all that stuff. So, we may give him a hand in the near future. How far is Bitter Springs, actually? Bitter Springs isn't marked on the map. I gotta get that perk so we can actually start seeing where places are. But, whatever. Hey, everybody, I'm TBG Hunter, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we finally made our long awaited delivery to Mr. House, who seems to be nothing but a collection of monitors and Securitrons. And we found out the Platinum Chip is actually what he's using to upgrade the Securitrons to, from the Mark 1 to the Mark 2, making them a force to be reckoned with. But for now, we're gonna head off back to the ship. We're gonna go see what the NCR's ambassador wants with us, because he were, we were summoned to him from a disclosed source after we were <coughs> uh, asked to meet with Caesar as well, so... I'm kind of terrified to go to the Legion right now. I'm pretty sure to despise my very being. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one who gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. All right, well, let's check out this suite. Uh, we got the cocktail lounge, we got the casino, we got the presidential suite, which is well, where we go. First things first, I want to go to the cocktail lounge. This place is completely useless. It's sad because it's actually a pretty cool looking place and you can't put anyone in here. But the reason I want to come here is because if you remember last time, one of the snow globes was missing during the renovation of the 38, and I really gotta deal with this over encumbered bullshit. Well, lo and behold, here it is. For the test site. The test site to what? Eh, we may see in the future. My guess is that it's nuclear weapons. No, this is actually a pretty cool looking restaurant. I don't know. I know that the Lucky 38 is based on an actual casino in Vegas, but I'm not sure if this is actually what it looks like. If it is, if you've actually been to its real-life counterpart, and this is what it looks like, eh, leave it in the comments and see if it's actually accurate or if it's not. But anyways, welcome to our suite. This is going to basically be our base of operations for pretty much the rest of the game. We got a good assortment of ammo. We got a dresser that doesn't work. We got wardrobes we that have pre-war stuff. Got a random pillow. Who puts a pillow on the, on the table? Seriously. And we got my bed. Not anyone, It's not just a bed. It's my bed. And a wardrobe over here. Now we can actually upgrade our suite, believe it or not. Ooh, what's this? Uh, today's position. Eh, I'll take it. Never know when it will come in handy. From this terminal right here. Where is it? There you are. From this terminal, we can actually buy upgrades. We got a crafting locker. Get another crafting locker. A uh, fridge. Guest wardrobe. Master wardrobe. Uh, sunset sarsaparilla vending machine. And weapon trunks. And a workbench. And believe it or not... We can sell stuff to this computer. I know, it's kind of weird. Uh, we'll, sell, we'll sell the 9mm. We have the unique version, so there's no reason for us to have it. Uh, we'll sell the 9mm submachine gun because we have the 10mm. It's actually better in every way, shape, and form. Binoculars? I'll keep them. They're kind of a cool aesthetic thing. I don't really want to get rid of it. The golden gloves are unique weapons, so I'm definitely not getting rid of those. Grenade rifle, pretty powerful. What I have right now, there is a unique version we'll get pretty soon, but for now, I'm going to just keep what we have. 
I'm going to keep my trusty laser pistol as well. Holy shit. Maria, plasma rifle. Eh, I thought I had another one. The damn pool cube Boone was carrying. Power fist. I don't need it because I'm not a melee character. Uh, service rifle and the shovel. Still need the shovel for any unique weapon, so we're going to hold on to that. 22 pistol. I'll keep that because it's actually got some uses still. Other than that, wow, the spacesuit's actually worth a lot. I never noticed that. And I'll give her the Wasteland Wanderer outfit. I don't even know where the hell I got that from. Um, um, hmm. All right, so I just sold all my alcohol to the computer so that it would cut down the price a bit. I'll be sure to get get some of that caps back. But now. We've got a sweet. A sweet that is very sweet. Where's that vending machine at it, actually? Yeah. We got the bathroom. We got a TV. Sadly, it doesn't work. And that's the thing. I might as well talk about this since... Uh, well, I've been playing it more and more recently. And the fact that I'm just, well, waiting to get these parts out. Uh, Fallout 4's TV thing. I hate it. It's a wasted opportunity because the thing is, they have the little, like, cartoons that they do for, like, the special skills, and it's just nothing but the Please Stand By program that plays on the TVs in Fallout 4. It, they could have probably put the little, like, special cartoons that they painstakingly made into it, and it would fit because it's nothing but black and white, but I don't know. It just seems like a missed opportunity. Uh, we'll, we'll put our Nuka Cola in here, even though it's a Sunset Sarsaparilla. I like to fight the system, and where the hell is all that Sunset? 49 Sunset Sarsaparilla. Going in there for now because I don't need it right now. We got a 53 in total. Wow. And that really took a lot of our, of our carrying weight. Over here, we have the little collection of snow globes we have. We have Good Springs and the Mormon Fort. Two or so, yeah, it's 2,000 each snow globe. Over here is the kitchen and our little crafting area. Too bad this is going to be underutilized. I still haven't gone much into the crafting system because, honestly, I've never used it. There's only, like, one or two things I've seen the crafting system be well used for. And, well, for thing one, it's not going to be until much later in the series. And thing two, I don't have the requirements for it. Other than that, that's our sweet. Kind of empty right now, but trust me, we'll be filling that out relatively fast. Victor, Where to, Paul? I would like to leave. Back to the casino. And let's go grab Boone and Eddie. Now, I think we can actually get Eddie's secondary upgrade well, right now. If so, then definitely going to go for it. If not, then I guess we're going to be stuck with Eddie for a while. There is actually a partner that we can replace Eddie with. It's back in Freeside, just like Arcade, which... Whenever we go to the Ford, I'm definitely bringing Arcade because he's, it's actually brought to, for his quest that there's actually points to accumulate for doing so. But for now, we're going to be sticking with Boone. And, you know, I like Boone. He's been a decent fellow. Bit of a troubled past. But, eh, who cares? All right, Eddie, follow. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Uh, I told you he was coming at me with a shotgun. I didn't mean to shoot him. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. You know, this seems like a dumb idea for the followers to do. They're telling me a plan they want me to to do to go against House when they're literally in spitting distance from his Securitrons. And I guess this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Dr. Alex diagnosed the terminally low decision of caps in this conversation. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. All right, I'll do it. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. 
You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. This seems like a dumb plan for you, to be honest. Wow, that was bad pop-in for the tops to just boop right in. All right, Boone. I've got your back. All right, you following. Let's get a move on, guys. Because now we are going to, hello, sir, go and do, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, not yes, man. Travel to Cottonwood. No, seriously, where is it? Hmm. If I get to read the notes and stuff, let's see. Uh, where is... There it is. I wish to speak with you immediately in regards of important matters. I trust you've learned enough in your travels to know that the New California Republic is an, is an honorable nation engaged in beneficial... Met a benefit mission in the Mojave in general and New Vegas in particular is in addition a wealthy nation that well re rewards persons who d dedicate themselves to its national interests whether for reasons patriotic or material allow me to reassure you that you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic it is my power and pardon misconduct of that sort I stand ready to receive you at your earliest convenience in the offices of the new Republican new NCR embassy Embassy at the south side of the Vegas Strip. God, I butchered that to all hell and back. But we might as well go see what the NCR wants. I mean, it's only fair. I guess I might as well make note of these uh, little, like, uh, magazine vending machines. We check them, free of charge, you get a free magazine from them. Boxing Time, Salesman, and Future Weapons Today. That's actually a good assortment. I'm going to go check these ones over here and the ones up ahead because... Any magazines I can get, especially if it's for skills I'm not that good at. Let's see. Boxing times, meeting people, and I think I got one that was for sneak. I'm gonna check these ones as well. That's life. Boxing times. Wow, I'm getting nothing but a bunch of boxing times. I'm definitely gonna sell those. The Ultra Lux. We're gonna visit that place later in life because I wanna have a decent amount of stuff because. What we're going to have to do there is going to involve a lot of speaking, a lot of sneaking, and a lot of, oh god, this is going to be a pain and ass to do. Kind of lackluster in this section. I mean, Vault 21. Oh, there's actually a vault over here. We'll have to go check that out as well. We're going to have to check out this place. It looks like a run-down facility. But let's check out the embassy first. Just lost a month's caps. Oh, that's your problem, not mine. Boone, you're in the way again. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? I'm looking for the ambassador. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Thank you very much. Oh wait, I'm meeting the ambassador. I probably should look the part. Um, I need something nice and suave for me to to look the part. Uh, what can I work with? There. I look very dignified to go meet the ambassador. Let's go. Hello. Mr. Ambassador. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. I kind of like this, like, building up music to something big that's going to happen. All right, you have my attention. Go on. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are 
let's say, hostile to all outsiders? That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Well, when you say boomers and open hostility to anyone who's not them, eh, sure, I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Yeah, I want to talk to you about them first. I want to know what I'm getting myself into. Thanks for doing this. Remember, we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle. Do whatever it takes. Alright. Well, I guess we'll do so. We might as well get a little work done for the NCR before I ask about the Ambassador. I'm sure he's a very busy man who doesn't want to be trifled with some random schmuck who he called in. And possibly sent on a suicide mission. But we're not going to visit the boomers yet. Mostly because I don't want to go boom. We're going to see the last couple of places here on the Vegas Strip. Because, well, eh, why not? I mean, right here, Michelangelo's... Michelangelo's shop. Yeah, I, I it was kind of hard reading all the junk over here. It's like going this way goes Michael, then Angel, O's shop. Yeah, it's kind of weird with spelling for the Vegas thing. Where the hell's the door to this place? Over here. I went the complete wrong direction. Let's see what we have to work with. Hmm. Nice place you got here. Ooh, Sunset Sasperlet. Boone, cover my back. I need my fix of the cola. Oh, this is a pretty cool place. Hello, sir! Or madam. Madam. I'm just dropping by to see what's around here. So far, a very, very empty place. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh... Wait, are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. Um. Uh, mm. Well, he seems like a decent guy. I don't want to lie to him. Uh, I'm not anything like that. I mean, I guess I am working for House right now, but no, I'm not a messenger from him. Mm, that's great to hear. Really great. I'm Sheldon from Vault 21. Although, here I go by my artistic name. Oh god, Michael he's an Angelo. artist. So, what brings you here? It's a rare thing to see in this time and place. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first, it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true, and its works caught Mr. House's attention. And that's how I ended up in this... place. It sounds as if you didn't like the place. What's wrong with it? I feel haunted by something terrible. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. So, is this a fear of the outside world draining your inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Hmm. Damn it, well, I could have passed the medicine check, but... No, I don't have the stuff to pass the medicine check, even if I took a Mentats and actually read the magazine. So I'll have to focus a bit more on medicine the next upgrade, or the next level up. Why don't you pack up and return to 21? Wouldn't that be great? No, Mr. House filled it with concrete. Only a few rooms and halls remain. My sister was able to turn them into a hotel. All right, well, why don't you tell me about 21? Most people don't uh, understand what it means to grow up in a vault. Its corridors, its walls, radiate a warmth that feels safe, honest. But here, everything is huge and threatening. It's so empty that I think one of these days I'll just... snap. Do you know Doc Mitchell? You mean Mitch? Oh, it's been ages since I've heard the name. 
My sister and I used to call him Mole Butt. <laughs> Don't ask. That was a long time ago. Before we exchanged the warmth of our home for the thin air of the wasteland. Hey, you breathe that waste on there. It'll pretty go, go pretty well for you. Well, all right. So, um, bye. Hmm. Eddie, what's your diagnostic for this? Right, we gotta kill him. No. Um, let's see if there's anything I had that can actually increase my medicine. I don't think I have anything on me right now. Anything that increases intelligence or increases med... Do I have a Wasteland Doctor's outfit? Add resistance, perception... Ah, I do not have a Wasteland Doctor's outfit. I could have sworn I did. Alright, well, let's see. Do I have anything that will increase my intelligence? Repair, perception, agility, strength, unarmed. Doesn't look like it. Hmm, that's sad. Speech, science. What is that? Barter. Oh, they do have a today's physician. Well, two of them. Do I have any mentats? No, I do not. That is weird. Well, even if I took that stuff, I'd still need five more to pass the check. So we'll have to come back here later to see what his what ails Michelangelo and his artistic prowess. Schematics for a billboard. Too bad we can't build billboards in this. It sounds like something that sounds like a lost concept for uh, Fallout 4's crafting system. Or well base building system, or whatever you want to call it. But I guess we'll come back here later once we've actually ranked up in the medical field a bit. Might as well go visit Vault 21, and then maybe, just maybe, we'll go pay those boomers a visit and help the NCR out a bit. Or do you get the feeling that this is going to go really, really badly? Did you know this? Really? I haven't heard. Vault 21. Everything's better when you experience it in a vault. Hello, ma'am. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Wow, you look like a discount what's-your-face from Fallout 3. Uh, what kind of things do you sell in the gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Oh, do you too. have bobbleheads? I'll take a bobblehead. Vault gear swell! Show me what you got. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Oh, oh, look at these toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage Vault Tech toy car? Or Sarah, stop right there. Do you actually have any Vault gear? Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the Vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. Thinking about that just blows my tongue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people in Gamora really have, get good use out of those leather vault suits. You know leather is my specialty. Unzip it, heat it, and rub it to shine it. Really? Well, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Just don't say here now. Don't want to get the patrons all riled up, do we? Ha ha ha. Okay, why don't you help me out? And in the meantime, I'll think about where to take advantage of your skills. Hmm. Give me just a second. Prepare. Unarmed. Now I had one for barter. Survival, lockpick, speech. As I was saying, Sarah, you should probably you find again. use for the boomer suits. Um. Uh. I'll help you out. That would help. 
Eh, it's a shame you can't fix boomer suits. They're very similar to vault suits. Hey, who says I can't fix that? You bring me those boom suits too, okay? Oh, it's a lucky thing. I'm about ready to go see them because... Yeah. Boomer suits. I'll get right on that. Eddie, if I don't make it back, please have a bumper sticker in my name. You can even say dead for ironic purposes. Alright, so... Let's see. Quest. We're gonna go and do some things that go boom. Let's see what we got. We got... The hell? Hmm, that's weird. All right, well, let's go to the east gate. And make it a quick, fast travel. And thus, our journey back into the wild wasteland begins anew. And I probably should be wearing combat armor because, to be honest, I the more armor, the less likely I'm going to explode. Uh, what weapons do I have? I got my silenced pistol. Got my grenade rifle. I probably really should have hotkeyed the weapons I got back. Crimson Caravan is right here. I'll have to pay them a visit if you remember to get Cass to join us. She told us to see what it was like. So, how about the Mets? I got nothing, so it's going to be a long, quiet road ahead, so might as well just get used to the silence. Hey, Eddie, do you have any triumphant battle music that can serenade us on this way? Well, it shouldn't be much further now. Just up the hill up here, and we'll probably come across the boomer's land. Oh, hey, look, a fellow traveler. It's nice to see him. Just smoking one right up ahead. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down. Or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Sir, the that sweater vest and that hat look ugly. That really, take that hat off. You'd be interested in a little information. It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. You can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Alright. Well, what's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living? Well, a lot of rocks. I've been dead. There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way to get past them? There is a way. And I'll tell you. For a little wager. Oh, a wager, eh? Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. 300 caps? I'm a bit short right now. How about 200? All right. I suppose I can cut you a deal, but not a cap lower. I gotta make a living here. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. Uh, you seem like a fine gambler. And the gambler always knows when not to bet that much money. This guy... What the hell is this guy? Uh... Bullets! Uh, I have no idea what the hell that says because it's red text on a red background. Boomers! Uh, apparently the bullet is a guy who accidentally threw his back out while doing, like, cardio. I don't know. Just leave. Danger, danger, all this stuff. Alright, so, can I sit right here? If you're someone new, probably the best idea. Save. Because this may take a few tries. I'm going to say it right now. You just heard that, th that thundering sound. Yeah. 
Wait for the landing. There it comes. There it is. Yep. They shoot artillery at you. Best bet. Hug this wall right here. And the Edie just went unconscious. Or Eddie. Sorry. What you want to do is hug this wall. Do not go out into the... Oh, God. Out into the open territory. I need to heal. This is the safest approach you can take. Especially if you stim packs or maybe a doctor's bag or two. But just get to this point right here. You're out of range of their artillery. And you're pretty much in the safe zone. Do not go out into the buildings. No matter what that guy says, I just placed a bet because, well, more caps. And more caps makes me happy. It is a death trap to go in there. No timing through the buildings. Just hug the wall over there and you're completely safe from their artillery. Well, mostly safe. Missile launchers, on the other hand, maybe not so safe. Hello? Hello? Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Well, I didn't come here to attack you. I came here to make peace. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. What's a Master at Arms? I oversee the security of the Nellis Homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. So, the fact that we're having this conversation means you failed, right? I wasn't the one firing the howitzers. If you want to see how good I am at killing savages, I can show you. Or you can accept Mother Pearl's invitation. Okay, okay, Teachers. lead the way. Follow close and mind your. Oh, behavior. apparently they're vault dwellers. I just saw that pit boy. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come. Well, maybe visit. shooting howitzers at anyone who passes by is not the best way to greet travelers. You didn't exactly roll out the red carpet. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers... That nah, it's just that your people suck at aiming and kept shooting for the wall next to me and not actually aiming near me, except for that one that landed only a few feet away. But we don't talk about that. How might it be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. How can we trust each other if you're gonna be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nice. All right, so where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Alright, so... Looks like we're gonna have to do some favors for the boomers so we can get them fighting for the NCR. Move them around Nellis, make contact with the boomers at Nellis, return to Yes Man. Yeah, I'm not returning to Yes Man right now. Pearl! How is your visit with us going, stranger? What do the people have to say about me? I haven't heard anything. You well, to be honest, I haven't even left the place yet. 
All right, so let's get a move on. Back to the Air Force Base. Well, we got a lot of work to do. Might as well start with a pest control problem. And by that I mean, I gotta figure out which one is actually the one that has that specific thing to do. And we got four things to go around, and my best bet, it's, and probably by my dumb luck, is it's the one that's right here. All right, then. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Yeah, well, Mother Pearl said you had a bug problem. Anything I can do to help? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Yeah, I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Uh, will do. And looks like our only destination is to go... Well, not right here. What the hell are you carrying on your... Oh, you got a grenade minigun on you. That's what that backpack represents. I probably shouldn't mess with her. Because uh, I probably would end up dead. And in multiple pieces. So I think we'll deal with the ants and then might call it a video. So first things first, we're going to have to go into here and talk to... Well, okay then... A uh, political person. I see where you stand. I guess you're a Democrat. We're gonna want to go in here, into the hangar. Loyal. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. And I'm looking to make myself useful. Any ideas? If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and... I'll be sure to do that. Maybe I have the repair that it takes to fix the array. If not, I do have a magazine. I can just use that. If it's not enough, I'll pay Helios 1 a visit again. Uh, you said you were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants? I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill mm. the ants. Science or speech? Science, of course. Any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Hot damn, you're right. It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel uh, sick to wait, yourself. no harm done, but it makes me sick. That seems smart. Eddie, on the other hand, how is it against robots? I mean, robots can't hear. Kind of. I don't know how that concept works. But will he be affected? Because I can't lose my flying little buddy. Alright, well... That's the furthest one out in the middle of nowhere. So best bet that's where the thing is not at. Because that's actually just their stuff. Hmm. Well, 
Straightforward, that seems like way out there. Then again, that looks like runways over there. I think this is this one's way out against uh, nothing, whereas the others are all clumpered together. So I think this is probably the array. It gets kind of confusing at first with the Nellis quest because, well, everything's like all closer together, and you need like a decent amount of like speech, science, and all that stuff. I won't be doing all the Nellis quests right now because I want to do take care of a few things that are out in the wasteland before I come back here, but I might as well knock this out away because not only will we get a little boomer fame, we might actually get a few boomer outfits to give to Sarah back at Vault 21, and also may get a unique weapon or two, and you are the wrong person I do not need to talk to. I need to go... Where the hell is this damn thing? Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys back there when... When I actually find the damn thing. You know, dumbass, maybe it would help if you activated the quest marker to show you the way towards the relay and not run around with a chicken with its head cut off. Or like a chicken with its head cut off, I cannot talk today. Then again, I am recording this at 6.07 in the morning, so that may be a factor. Alright, let's fix these relay dishes and so we can get this on the way. Repair 65 or higher. What is my repair at? Just want to check. Repair is at 50. I don't have enough to fix it. So either I get enough experience by fighting the ants in the relay, or I'm going to have to pay Helios a visit. Eddie, I need you to follow me. Sad to say, you can't come with me on this mission. I don't want to be blown into the next area code by your laser weapon because ants will, are volatile to explosive or, well, fire-based stuff. So, lasers, sadly, you gotta sit this one out, buddy. I'll be back to collect you later. I also probably should unequip my grenade rifle. Just a thought. Boone always on the quick draw. I like it, except when it's old women you're shooting at. Uh, Maria, and we'll we'll try it out. It's our unique weapon, so might as well give it some limelight. Some ant meat. Dead boomer. Take your jumpsuit. I'll take your cap. Combat knife and a frag grenade. All right. It's not like they need that outfit anymore. Earnings clipboard. Ooh, an assault carbine. Grenade. I'm gonna take your stuff, because you don't need it. Oh, ant! Lights off. Anything useful in the cabinets? No, of course not. Whew. So much for an infestation. I only see, like, two ants. Not enough to, like completely take control of this whole place, but then again, they are eating gunpowder, and these guys are nothing but explosive carrying maniacs, so... Yeah, I can see why they send me down. And it's just a pile of dirt. I thought that was their nest for a second there. Their nest should be located over here. You know, for an infestation, there's not been a whole lot of infesting, but what there is... There is Thump Thump. It's the unique grenade launcher. I'll be sure to give it some limelight. Ah, here's the nest. Activate the emitter. Cinematic spin around. I think there's an ant up there. I gained the bug stomper perk, rank one. Yay. All right, let's get these generators back online. Alright, so just flip one. Flip two. Might as well take what they have in the arsenal. It's not like they need it now. Ammunition. Magnum ammo. That's relatively good. Especially what we're getting. 5mm ammo. If I ever come across a minigun. Grenades for my grenade launcher. More grenades for the grenade launcher. 10 millimeter rounds. 12 gauge for I don't know what. 308. 
More grenades, but there is a whole lot of grenades in this place. Energy, microfusion. 5mm, another 5mm. If I ever come across a minigun, I'm definitely going to take it. Oh, wait, I think the assault carbine takes 5mm, so I'll be sure to grab that. Mini nukes! Mini nukes! Gotta have the mini nukes. Let's see. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Dead ant. I think this is just a shortcut way to get out of the facility. But bad news is I think it takes me away from Eddie. Yes, it does. We're going to have to go around the whole facility to get him again. I can just cut right through here. Wait. I missed something in there? I'll have to go back and check. I think I might have forgot to hit the main switch to turn the power back on. Yep, I did. I'm an idiot. Guilty as charged. Alright, now we got the power back on. Now we can... And we'll just go this way so we can stop by and say hi to Eddie and pick him up. Anything over here? I think I've already passed through this area, so don't think that there's anything useful for me. Nope, this is where I started off. Alright. Let's grab Eddie, and I think that's a pretty good time to end things off. I've been over an hour recording, and I got to... Well, it might not be an hour by the time this whole thing's finished. Eddie, did you miss me? Alrighty then. Ooh, howitzer. I think this... Well, again, I said I was going to end it, so... This is, well, no time like the present to end things off. Next time on Follow New Vegas, we're actually going to leave Nels for a bit. We're not going to be abandoning the boomers here, of course not. But I've got some business to take care of before we come back and see them. I want to, you know... I think Boone needs a break from the wasteland, especially with all this heavy armor out in the heat. So we might find someone who can, well... I won't say replace. I'm totally saying replace him. Uh, but someone to fill his slot for a while. Eddie, my trusty little floating companion. We need to get you upgraded, buddy. Because as much as I love your bumper sticker on the side, to be honest, you really do need a clean job. So, until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all next time. Later. Later.